again, hello, mother, right in front of me. Today, we're going to be doing another, sp uh, actually, no. Last time, we did the Kroger mac and cheese, and because I want to postpone my corn noodle video to the latest possible time, we're going to be doing another food review. This time, it's going to be, ooh, it's again by Kroger, actually. So, it's Fred Meyer's brand. We're going to be doing the... Bam, right here. Uh, it's like SpaghettiOs, except they're not O's, so it's just spaghetti. It's, they're not they're not conjoined. It's spaghetti with meatballs and tomato sauce. And it's by Kroger, so like the Kroger mac and cheese. So, uh-oh, it doesn't have an easy open lid. We're going to need a can opener. Okay, well, I'm going to go get a can opener, and I don't know how to use a can opener, so my lovely mother will help me. <laughs> So, I'll get this open, and we can put in about, I don't know, a third, because I don't eat the entire thing, because I'm not, I'm not fat. Um, so, yeah, well, let's go ahead and make this delicious spaghetti. Okay, so, we're back, and um, we have a bowl, and our spaghettios are open here. I mean, our spaghettios are spaghetti. And, let's see, how much is this? 15 ounces, okay. Let's go ahead and get out of as much as I think I'll eat. Uh, it's a bit there. Let's see, how much is this? 15 ounces, okay. And the meatballs are very substantially sized. Can you help me get this out, please? <laughs> I'm just trying to put in a, a, put in a mountain and I'll see if that's enough. Uh, maybe just a little bit more. And maybe another meatball. Double chin. Yes, perfection. All right, so here's our spaghetti. O's, or spaghetti, actually, no, they're not O's. Spaghetti. I mean, can you give me that? I need to check the instructions. What did you eat? There was this half of the can. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Empty can. Well, this is for the entire thing. Uh oh. Okay. This is for the entire thing. So it says cover a microwave high three to four minutes or until hot. So how much would I microwave this for? One and a half. Okay. 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 Okay
This one's not as good as actually um, Frank, not Franco-Americans. I forgot Franco-Americans was bought by Campbell's. <laughs> Because, um, when I, well, like I say, I don't know, I can't remember when they were bought by Campbell's, but, uh, the first time I saw SpaghettiOs, it was actually Franco-Americans. I'm not, you might be wondering, hey, you're not old enough to know Franco-Americans, because you're only, I'm only 12, and I think Campbell's was bought by franco Ameri I mean, Franco-Americans was bought by Campbell's before I was born, but that's the first can I saw, it was Franco-Americans. So, Campbell's, this isn't actually as good as Campbell's SpaghettiOs. And Campbell SpaghettiOs aren't good anyway, so this is saying something. Alright, well, Campbell SpaghettiOs aren't that good. <coughs> yeah, I tried another version that had the, yeah, like the open ones, like I said, with meatballs, and that was delicious. I love it. I'm, I wish I could find that somewhere. I wonder where that was. But yeah, these ones aren't as good. Oh, wait, that was Walmart Spaghetti. That was great value. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I might do a review of great value spaghetti. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take a bite of a meatball now. I mean, half a bite. Oh, that's a long one. Ooh, okay. The meatball's good, actually. The meat is good. And I don't know if you saw in my time lapse video where I was waiting for these to cool down. I was doing pen, pineapple, apple pen. I was doing, I have a pen. I have an apple, apple pen. I hope that's not, I hope that's not copyrighted. Because I remember when I was doing my, way back when, in one of my earlier videos, I think it was like three years ago, I was doing a SpongeBob mac and cheese video. And I went like, oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? And then I was like, yeah, that's as much as we can sing without getting a copyright. <laughs> I remember watching like a Red Cow Entertainment box mac video with that chef guy. And yeah, they said, ooh, that's as much as we can sing. That's true. Uh-oh. That can't be good. Ooh, please don't kill me, father. It's never a good sign. Let's clean that right away. Okay, crisis averted. Um, oh, I forgot my Kroger mac and cheese is still over there. It's getting all cold and hard and... <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> oh my goodness, coughing crazy. Guys, don't worry. It's not because of the air quality. I just have, a, I just by default have a super rare lung disease called pulmonary hypertension, and that makes me short of breath. Like I can only take three running steps before I'm like, <sighs> and it, yeah, and just yeah, and normally my oxygen are lower level because of pulmonary hypertension, pulmonary hypertension, and basically I get out of breath and I just cough more often. Basically, what pulmonary hypertension is, it's like hypertension, you know, very. Um, closed arteries and veins or veins and yeah except it's in the pulmonary side of your heart so <clears throat> and it's like way rarer than hypertension and it's like super rare not many people know about it there's only a few doctors in the world who know about it like there's only like i can't remember but i go to seattle like every six months or every two, no, it used to be every two months, now every six months, and I have a doctor there, that's like the only doctor in the entire part of, where are we, are we on the west coast or east coast, I don't know my directions, let's see, east coast, yeah, that's the only uh, doctor in, in Seattle, like on, in, on that entire side of the North America, Yeah, the pasta's not really good. I mean, no, the pasta's good, but the sauce is weird. I don't like the sauce taste. The sauce is kind of weird. And it doesn't say it doesn't have any cheese sauce in it, but I taste some cheese flavor. It's not a good cheese flavor. Actually, the Kroger spaghetti without the meatballs has tomato and cheese sauce in it, so this might have cheese. Let's see. Yeah, modified cheddar cheese, cheddar cheese, pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt, water, salt, I assume. Natural flavor, spice, spice extract, contains milk, wheat, soy. 
tomato puree, tomato paste, meatballs, beef and pork, water, breadcrumbs, enriched wheat flour, niacin, ferrous sulfate, textured soy protein, caramel color, rich spaghetti, wheat flour, goes through all this, oh goodness, half of these things I can't pronounce. Yeah, guys, here's a good tip. Look at the ingredients list of a um, of a product of a food. If you can't pronounce more than half of the ingredients, I suggest not buying it. That means it's not healthy. I like how in my last mac and cheese video, the Kroger mac and cheese video, I said, "Hmm, I won't be eating unhealthy stuff as much anymore." And then literally the next day, I eat this. Oh wait. Wait a minute. No. It hasn't been a day yet. I ate the mac and cheese in the morning. I'm making two videos in one day, bro. 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 Bruh. Yo. Oh, hey, yo. Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of the sauce at all. The pasta's good. The texture of the pasta is good. The noodles. The spaghetti. Um, did I just spill again? Darn it. <coughs> Murphy's Law. Isn't it Murphy's Law? I can't remember which law is that, but there's a thing that says, if something can go wrong, it's going to go wrong. It's not a very good law. But I still believe in it, kind of. Kind of. Oh. This is really good and really bad at the same time. Well, I guess that's another oxymoron, because... Yeah. Well, no, it's not an oxymoron, because it's really bad in terms of healthiness, but it's really good in terms of deliciousness. In terms of, I mean, yumminess. Well, the pasta, again, I, I mean, the sauce, I get, like I said, isn't that good. So it's really yummy, and then really not so yummy, and then it's really not healthy, and then kind of just really not healthy. It's not healthy at all. Uh-oh. Ooh, hair. You want to play rough, do you? Well, well, I get this hair out of my mouth. This troll can entertain you. Oh my goodness, I'm singing Giorno's theme. <laughs> you know, that's kind of creepy. His arms don't move like this. Normally you'd be going like this, you'd have to bend your arms. This guy isn't bending his arms, it's like going like this. That's creepy. Ugh. He's not even moving his shoulders. That's McDonald's Happy Meal toy logic, everybody. Okay, your time's up. Bye. Oh, that was weak. <clears throat> what I meant to say was, your time's up. Bye. There we go. Excuse me. Oh, oh, uh-oh. Let's finish the pasta. <laughs> the pasta first and the sauce. And then we can gorge on the meatballs, because the meatballs are really good. Mm -mm. Respect the cuckoo! Okay. Guys, we have a rule in the house. Whenever our cuckoo clock goes off, we need to stop whatever we're doing. Even if we are kind of like when you're on fire. If your clothes are on fire, you stop, drop, and do a barrel roll. If the cuckoo goes off, what you do is stop everything you're doing, even if you're, even if you have food that's burning in the pan, and you go with the cuckoo. Like it goes cuckoo, cuckoo, and every every loud cuckoo, every time it makes a loud cuckoo, you have to go with it like this: cuckoo, 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 because it's an electronic cuckoo clock. It has that weird echo thing. <laughs> yeah, it needs to go cuckoo. For as long as it is. If it's 12 cuckoos, you got to do it. You got to pause for as long as it takes. If it's two cuckoos, which it was, I just did two cuckoos, but I forgot to go with it. That, my friends, is called respecting the cuckoo, and it's very important. If you don't respect the cuckoo, 
you'll have bad luck for eternity. Well, bad luck until you die. So I suggest respecting the cuckoo. If you have one, oh, sorry, um, I have an itchy nose. I don't want you to see that. If you have a cuckoo clock in your house, I suggest respecting it when it goes cuckoo. Otherwise, the cuckoo bird will curse you with bad luck forever. Ah! And guys, don't worry. I don't, I don't actually believe in curses. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, how to get sauce up my nose? <coughs> oh, holy cow! Oh, okay, that's for the entire container. I thought like one third of it. I thought half of the container had <coughs> twelve thousand <coughs> sixty milligrams of sodium. <coughs> I had half of this. I think, I, yeah, I think and that's about half of the container. So I had, oh goodness, 500 milligrams. That's already 400. I had 900 milligrams of sodium today, approximately. Probably more than that, but approximately 900. Okay, now let's finish up the remaining pasta and sauce because, oh, they're stubborn. Then we can devour the meatballs. The meatballs are big, so they don't put many in each can. I only got like three here. But three is like, um, three of these meatballs equals like, I don't know, two, four, six, six of the SpaghettiO Campbell meatballs. And SpaghettiO Campbell meatballs are good, but some of them are weird and, and it depends. Some of the meatballs, actually, yeah, it varies. Some of the Campbell's meatballs taste good. Some of them taste weird. Maybe they're using different parts of the chicken and beef. Ooh. Mechanic, uh-oh, 10% battery. Mechanically separated chicken. That doesn't sound good. Are they using chicken eyeballs? Are they using chicken feathers? Are they using chicken beak or chicken tongue or chicken comb or chicken crest maybe? Are they using chicken cloaca? Ew. Okay. I'm getting a little bit gross. Yeah, I shouldn't be saying cloaca on YouTube. I hope they're not using chicken, you know what? That'd be gross. Yeah, I'd stop eating. If I knew what they were made of and it said made with chicken butt, I'd stop eating them immediately. I'd probably be grossed out for the rest of my life. Never eat anything like this again, probably. Okay. Now, since my phone is dying, and it shuts off at like 5% to save power, I better eat these fast. <coughs> okay, last bit of pasta here. Ooh. Oh. Mm. oh, the dog farted, ew. All right, guys, meatball time. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's the stuff. Mm. <sighs> Heaven. I'm like 90% sure this is what heaven's going to be like. I mean, minus the unhealthiness. <clears throat> if and when I go to heaven, I'm going to eat these. I'm going to ask God, hey, God, can I have meatballs, please? Because these ones are delicious. I'm going to ask, yeah, I'm going to say, I want meatballs, please. And hopefully, I'll, can I, hopefully I can have meatballs in heaven. I wonder if they have meatballs in heaven. I think they do, probably. Not sure. I hope they do. You know what else I hope they have in heaven? Mac and cheese. Um, oh yeah, I hope they have spicy samyang noodles, minus the spicy uh, spiciness. Um, I hope they have airplanes in heaven, or will you just be able to fly without wings or anything? I hope they have airplanes in heaven. I want to fly airplanes in heaven. I want to be a kid with my dad in heaven. And I hope they'll have, um, uh, let's see, what else? I hope they have stuffed animals in heaven. Um, let's see. Oh, I, I love to draw 
guys, and I I don't know if you saw, in one of my past videos, I made a drawing called Cash the Kawaii Wolf. I hope maybe in heaven, I hope I'll be able to turn into my drawings. Maybe I can turn into my drawings. <laughs> maybe I could turn into Cash or turn into, oh, let's see, who else did I create? Um, or Tyler or something, Cash or Tyler. Uh, I don't know. I guess I could turn into my girl creations too, but that'd be weird. Oh, goodness. 17 minutes long. I'm sorry, guys. Let's finish these quick. Oh, yeah. Mm. The meatballs are to die for. They're like... They're like a bajillion times better than the sauce. And they're a good zillion times better than the Campbell's um, meatballs. Yeah. If they made Kroger meatballs, spaghetti meatballs, just the meatballs, oh, I'd buy them in bulk. Like, I'd buy 500 can well, not 500. I'd buy a good 10 cans of meatballs. These are so good. Oh, man. But heartburn. Yeah, I have the heartbreak of heartburn. <laughs> oh. Holy heartburn. Yeah, I was heartburn. I got that from Pokemon. <laughs> in the newest season of Pokemon, Team Rocket are eating sea salt chips and they finish the entire bag and they're all like fat with big tummies and and just and Jesse says, Oh, I have the heartbreak of heartburn <laughs> and Meowth is like, you can say that again. <laughs> I think that's why I named my YouTube channel Pikachu Games, because I like Pokemon. Well, actually, it wasn't originally Pikachu Games. First, it was MLP Sapphire Hearts, but then I think it was EV300, so I got to Pokemon liking really quickly. Oh, done. Okay. So yeah, I think it was first MLP Sapphire Hearts, then it was EV300. Then I impersonated myself as Mallow Marsh. Actually, we don't know her last name. Mallow from Pokemon Sun and Moon. We don't know her last name, but since Marshmallow, I named her Mal Mallow Marsh. And I pretended to be her, because I don't know why, because I was young at the time. <clears throat> and I changed it to Pikachu Games. And I don't think I'm going to change it again. I think I'm sticking with Pikachu Games. I don't know. We don't know. If things change, I might change it. I might get inter different interests. I might change my YouTube channel name again. But for now, I'm sticking with Pikachu Games. And actually, I've kept my um, email address the same since I first created my YouTube channel. It's still mlpsapphirehearts at gmail.com. So if you guys want to email me, that's my email address. mlpsapphirehearts, one word, mlp. You know how to spell sapphire if you don't look it up. Hearts at gmail.com. So feel free to email me. Or not. Because I don't like getting spammed. All right, so this video has been 20 minutes. Probably it's going to be 40 minutes when I combine all the videos together. So uh, that was my review of the Kroger spaghetti with meatballs and tomato sauce. The sauce was not that good at all. The pasta was pretty good. It had a nice texture. And the meatballs were absolutely to die for. Oh, yes, I love them. Mm. So it went like that. Pretty good and extremely delicious. Oh, mouth-watering. So, yeah, that was my view of the no synthetic knives, no artificial flavors. Kroger spaghetti with meatballs and tomato sauce, Fred Meyers exclusive brand. So, if you have a Fred Meyers, go get these if you want. I'll see you guys later in my next video, which might or might not be a noodle video. Bye. Oh, goodness. 21 minutes.